Broody chickens are the one and only way to be able to hatch out chickens. And seeing the success of my last broody chickens video, I figured I'd make a remake for you guys, so enjoy. So you need to know what breeds of chickens are going to be broody because you can't just expect to get a random breed of chicken and expect them to automatically become broody because that's not how it works. Certain breeds of chickens will be broody and others will be like, hell no, I'm not going to go broody for you and not, uh, not at all and just lay the egg there. For me personally, I've had the greatest experience with my Buff Warpingtons. If you don't know what a Buff Warpington is, yellow chicken right there. If you saw the intro, those, one of those yellow chickens, one in the far left box was my broody buff. The one in the center box was my buff that was just laying an egg. Buff Warpingtons, um, you know, Silkies, um, what else? Are th There's a lot of other ones. I'm including them on the screen right now. Easter Eggers are not broody. Google will tell you they're broody, but they're not. I'm gonna say that for a fact. I've never had, an, had any experience with a broody Easter Egger, and I think we have just about 40 Easter Eggers here. So there is no, we've had zero Easter Eggers that go broody. They just go in there, they lay their eggs, and they leave. They might tuck an egg under them, but that's not broody behavior. Next up is putting in the fakes to your chicken coop. So before you even insert the eggs under your chicken you need to collect the eggs and then insert the fakes because once you get your broody chicken you need to make sure she's actually broody you want to put these fakes under her for about 18 hours before you determine if she's broody or not if they're still under her you could use like a little golf ball or fake ceramic egg ceramic eggs are a bit better though but they're all, but they could also be used to help lead your chickens to the correct boxes as well um, if they're still under her, then she's more likely than not broody. If she's protecting them, then that's what you want to do. But yeah, proceedingly, you want to put her into a separate coop. And we have a hoop coop for the um, baby meat chickens, if you're wondering. And um, yeah, it could be any sort of secondary coop because you don't want your chickens in the same coop because she'll take over one nesting box. And if you have multiple broody chickens, more than one nesting box. And there's gonna be chickens that'll go in, disturb them, lay their eggs, and she'll. Yeah. You wanna make sure, that, like, maybe build like something like simple hoop coop. Make sure it includes nesting boxes, some feed, some water, some grass, and um, also make sure there's a bit of dirt for dust bathing. Because, well, you know, chickens in their dust bath baths, they, they love that sort of stuff. It's their only way to hygiene, because, well, they don't know how to operate a shower. So, yeah. If they did, they still probably would have taken dust baths over that because, well, chickens aren't really the biggest fan of water. So you need to make sure that's the case. And also you want to go in there and provide her with treats, but make sure the interaction is very short lived, but you want to keep, keep her close enough to the house that like she's guarded from predators, but far away, but far enough from the house that like she doesn't catch any like outside noises. Now, once she's hatched out the eggs, you want to put her in the house, I mean not in the house, like in a, like a brooder, either in like a house or a barn or shed, whatever, that has heat. You want to put her under there and she's going to care for the chickens for probably about three weeks until she says, screw you all, I'm on your own. You're on your own for the rest of your life. And that's how we hatched out Kit Kat, Fluff Ball, and Shaving Cream Rotisserie Chicken and the unnamed Marin. Um, Shaving Cream Rotisserie Chicken were rehomed because they were both roosters. Kit Kat and Fluff Ball are still alive and same with that unnamed Marin as well. So. If you enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It'll be greatly appreciated. We trying to reach 2K by the end of the month. And also, yeah, 4,000 watch hours. That's my dream. And, you know, monetization, trying to get like three extra pennies and be able to go down to the Dollar General and buy like a Kit Kat bar. So, yeah, goodbye, everyone.